So welcome back to the channel. This car behind me is super rare. We post it on Instagram. If you want to go check that out, it's Mark McCann 64 and everybody went mad for this car. So we're going to do a vlog on it today so that you can have a real good look at it. This car is that rare that you've probably never ever seen it and probably never even heard about it. To give you an idea on how rare, Ferrari and Enzo, they made 500 cars and a LaFerrari, they did about 600 cars. This one, Mercedes, only made 100 cars in the production. This crazy car is a Mercedes CLK DTS. And like I said before, only 100 made, and remarkably, they were never for sale in the dealership. So the only chance you ever got to buy this car was if you were invited by Mercedes themselves. And it was such a special car that the people who bought these were celebrities. It was so special that four of the Formula One guys at that time bought it. So there was Jensen Button, Kimi Raikkonen, Mika Hakkinen, and Juan Pablo Montoya all invested money into this car. This car wasn't built in the Mercedes factory. It was above the AMG status. So it was built by HWA, which was Mercedes in-house racing team. So they took this car to replicate their success in the 2003 DTM Championship, which is the German Touring Car Championship. So back in 2004, Mercedes has moved on to the new 6.2 litre V8, but for this, that wasn't fast enough. So they went back to the old engine, the M113K. It was a 5.4 litre engine, but to make it even quicker, they bolted a massive supercharger onto it. So this engine, had been modified for just 100 pieces. There was lots of different changes. They increased the crankcases, they changed the pistons, the camshafts, all for just these cars. The engine was only made by one person. So this guy must have been really happy when he got the shout up for this one. Because of the brake horsepower this thing was kicking out, they couldn't keep it cool. So they literally bolted on another radiator on top of the other one. And also the rear diff kept on braking. So they put some extra cooling on that. And they even made special drive shafts just for this car. All that gave this car 580 brake horsepower. It was crazy back then. Bearing in mind that was 17 years ago. It's even better figures than what cars have now. And also this was 100 brake horsepower more than the legendary CLK Black Series. But what also helped was it was 100 kg lighter than the Black Series. And that was because of the crazy amount of carbon fiber this car has. So that made this car 0 to 60 3.8 seconds. And it was electronically held back at 200 miles per hour. But we all know that they could have gone that little bit extra and got even faster. They put the bonnet, this massive great big piece of metal and these wing mirrors. And they're the first things which people change now to save that weight. Again, just like the CLK normal cars, they had roof rack points. Why did they go to all this trouble, spend all this money for 100 cars and not finish it properly? So the weirdness doesn't stop there. So they bolt on these crazy arches, which make the rear end four inches wider. And then somebody thinks, how are we supposed to fill it full of fuel? So they just cut and hack into the fuel filler, crazy. They even went to the effort of only painting it with a small layer of paint so you can still see the carbon weave. But then we've got a metal bonnet. We've got air intakes here, which don't actually do anything. And then we've got this wheel, which must have cost them a fortune. And what do they do? They make an ugly one. So to save weight, carbon, 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 carbon. So they saved all this weight. And then bizarrely, we've got a steel bonnet. We still got plastic wing mirrors. What were they thinking? So in here, it's got race suspension. It's got specially made race hubs. It's got six pop calipers. It's even got carbon fiber brake intake ducts. And then these wheels. Now this, there's a lot of controversy about these wheels because let's face it, they're ugly. It's a three piece wheel and they were made just for this car. So if you think about that, they only made 400 wheels ever. So when I curb one of these, I'm gonna be in the right trouble. And what's really special, when we open up the back here, lift up the carpet, carbon fiber. So they are using carbon fiber to make it go faster. All about speed, lightness, all about track. We do all that and we've still got a steel bonnet. So the weird stuff doesn't end there, the warning labels. So the first one says that above 62 miles per hour, limited behavior on the super sport tires. So obviously it's 63, maybe you die. And then under the bonnet, beware of your fingers in the fan. Yep, get that, good one. But really, who works on a vehicle and wears a tie? The outside of this car is amazing, but the inside is a different level. It's got so many special parts. To start with, we've got carbon fiber bucket seats. They don't adjust, so if they don't fit you, tough. We've got race harnesses for when you're doing 63 miles per hour in the wet. They're attached to a carbon fiber roll bar. In the back, it's totally carbon fiber. We've got no seats, no mod cons, nothing. 
The carbon fibre definitely doesn't stop. Carbon fibre door cards. There's no handles, nowhere to rest your arm, nothing. A couple of speakers. We've got carbon fibre everywhere in here. This steering wheel is beautiful. It's odd shaped, it's Alcantara, and it's got all these buttons. Obviously, you'd usually speak to your crew chief or check your tyre pressures, but amazingly, this turns the radio up and down. So here we have where you put it into drive. So we've got P for park, D for drive, but then we've got reverse and neutral written in four words. And then the really, really crazy thing is here. So there we've got cruise control. Absolutely impossible to use. So it's here, okay, fine. Why not put it here? And then we've got the dials. So that massive great big center one is where the revs are. And it even lights up to tell you to change gear. CLK DTM, one of a hundred. That's what makes this so special. It's so rare. They're just not out there. If you get on the internet now, Google search it. There's none for sale. There might be one for sale in Germany or something like that. But in the UK, they are rarely, rarely for sale. Even these seat mats. So they've got this thing where you usually push it down, but they've just not bothered with these. That's probably just to save weight. I've got to say it again, that bonnet. Why? Why a steel bonnet? And this steering wheel, look at the shape of it. It's not even nearly round. Or the Alcantara, even the key. We've got the same key in a 15 year old Sprinter van. This thing was 250 grand and you've got a plastic key. That noise. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, so special. Such a special car. It really is a unicorn. Just so rare. This will go down in history as one of the most famous cars which nobody ever heard of. So I did buy this car as an investment. It's only got 17,000 miles on the clock and I bought it um, because of the chance it would appreciate with time and I'm sure it definitely will. I also bought it to drive because it's exciting, it's crazy, it's rare and you don't see any others. The noise of it, the feel of it, it's one of a kind. It is a unicorn. It's one which you, you'll probably never ever see on the road but hopefully you get to experience with it with us today. This thing is without doubt valuable. There was one recently for sale on DK Engineering and it was up for 400,000 pounds. So please understand that there's no way we can start doing donuts or anything stupid in this because it's just too rare. Like I have got a limit to where I am sensible and today we've actually found it. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time. See you next time.